Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to create easy travel maps in iMovie. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now iMovie has a great feature that I'm surprised to find some people don't know about. It's the ability to create these really cool travel maps where you travel from point A to point B on either a globe or a flat map. The best part is you don't have to import any special media or have anything set up. This is a built-in feature of iMovie and it's so easy to use. But there are also some advanced options if you explore it a bit. So here I've got a new iMovie project. There's nothing in the timeline yet. I want to show a vacation video and I want to start off by showing a map with me traveling from my home to the destination. Now the way to do this with the built-in travel maps is to first go to Backgrounds. Travel maps are part of Backgrounds. Now if you just see Backgrounds here the trick is to scroll up as maps are the first thing in the list here for maps and backgrounds. And you get all of these different maps here but only the first eight are the ones you want to pay attention to. These last few where it says Still that's just a plain map background. So to preview these just move your pointer over one of these maps here and slowly move it back and forth and you'll see a preview in the window to the right and you can see all the different styles here. They're basically four different styles and then they're globe and flat map versions of each. So you're going to pick the one you want. Let's just use the Old World Globe to start with. So I'm going to select that and I could double click it to add it or I could drag it into the timeline here. And then I've got this globe here that spins a little bit and shows me one point on the map. If I look on the right above the preview there's a new item that appears at the top in your tools and that's the little globe or map settings icon here. So if you're not at these settings just click the little globe there to get to it. And you'll see the route and you've got your start point and your end point. Now if you just set a start point then the way this will work is it will turn the globe slightly and then show you the name under a dot for that point. So you can click here and set that to any location you want. So if that's all you want just to pinpoint a dot on a globe or a map you can just use this start point. If instead you want to have a route then click the second button here. Now you don't type longitude and latitude or anything like that. Instead you type the name of a location. It's a huge database of names including airport codes and everything. So for instance I'll type London here and I'll see a, a lot of different matches. I'll go with the one that's just London, Greater London, UK. And before you click Done look closely at the name to display on the map. So no matter what the actual listing is here there's a different name to display. It's usually a little simpler. But you can customize this. For instance you can call this Destination or Jim's House or whatever you want. And you can put that in there and that's what you will actually see on the map. So now you can see since I've got the playback head at the end here there's the end of the map. I could scrub over this and you can see the entire thing. And that's all you really need to do to have a simple globe or map and then you could jump into your video. Now there are a lot of different options starting with speed. So when you select this you can see it's 4 seconds. If I want it to be faster just simply make the time shorter. For instance if I make it 2 seconds it will have to do the animation in twice the time. If I want it to slow down I could have it go to 6 seconds and it's going to take 6 seconds to do it. So speed and duration are of course completely related. Now you can also go here and change things about the color. So let's go to the color tools here and I could use any of these color tools to change things. I can desaturate it a little bit or supersaturate it and I can tint it. So you can use those. You can also use color matching. So for instance if I know that I'm going to be going to a video that looks like this and I want the colors to match I can select this, click on the color matching tool here click Match Color and then I can select some point in here and have it match. And now the colors will match between the map and the first video that you go to which is nice. Now you can also change the cropping. So if you go to the Crop tool here it's set to Fit which is standard. But you can change to Crop to Fill and then the idea is I could crop it in closer. Let's crop it in very close and put the crosshairs right wherever the red dot is on the frame that you're previewing. And then you click the checkbox here. And now it's zoomed in 
really close. So instead of seeing a globe you kind of see this curved map instead. Now you can also use Ken Burns. With Ken Burns you get a start frame and an end frame. So you can have it start all the way zoomed out. And then I'll click here on the end frame and zoom that in. I'll put the crosshairs right on the red dot. So now my effect is that it starts all the way out on the globe and zooms in very nicely to your location. Now what if you want multiple stops? You don't want to go from point A to point B but A to B to C. Well you can do that as well. So let's go into Backgrounds here and instead of using the globe this time I'm going to choose the Old World Map. And I'll bring that in. So that's a flat map now. And with it selected I've got starting San Francisco. Let's change that to Denver. And I'll make sure the name is displayed like I want. Maybe I want to change this to Home. And then I'll have the first stop be London and I'll select from all the different options Greater London UK. Make sure the name is right. And now I've got a map that goes like this. Now what if I want it to continue from London to somewhere else? Well what I could do then is I could simply copy this and I could go to the end here, click so that the playback head is at the end and paste. Now I could have started over from scratch but what this does is it puts the route Denver to London and I can simply reverse them and now I've got London to Denver but I'll change Denver to my next stop, Rome. And I'll choose Rome right there. So now I've got this first part of the route and it goes seamlessly into the next part of the route. So that's really handy to have and then you can continue with multiple stops if you want. Now notice that because this is a longer distance it seems to go faster than this which is a shorter distance. So I'll shorten this one so that the speed is a little bit better matched. Now let me go back to when I just had one here and I could actually do the Ken Burns effect here starting all the way out and then the end will get closer. Maybe not zoomed in that close like around there. So now it will zoom in as it gets closer to my destination but I want to do another stop. So I'm going to copy, click at the end here and paste. And here not only will I be able to go to the map settings, reverse this so I'm starting in London, change the destination to my next destination like that. But I could also go to Cropping and Ken Burns. I could reverse Ken Burns with this button here. So now it starts at that size and the end I want it to get even smaller so it will finish at that size. And then I'll do the checkbox. I'll shrink this up since it's a shorter distance to make the speeds match a bit better. And now it will zoom in from Denver to London and then continue to zoom in to Rome. Now one last thing I want to show you and that's you can apply filters to these backgrounds just like you can with any regular video. So I'm going to select both of these by holding the Shift key down selecting both and I've got the Filters button right there. But I can now click Clip Filter and select one of these. There are a lot of good ones to choose from and you can kind of preview them all here. Vignette looks really nice. CPL looks pretty nice as well. Old World kind of enhances it. But I'm going to choose Aged Film like that and it's applied to both here. And I can change the amount of the effect percentage wise there like that. So now I've got an aged film applied to this map using the Ken Burns effect to zoom in and going from one destination to another and then to a third. So give this a try. Play around with it. It's a lot of fun. You don't need to have a project that you're currently working on to play around with this. Matter of fact, it's better to play around with it now. Try all the different maps. Try some different things. So then in the future when you do want to use it you already know how. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.